Hello and welcome back to episode 2 of Auto Nation. Uh, I'm your host, Salt Mercury, and we're just messing around for the most part today. Uh, so, I got a couple of these things done and I started making them, and I realized I have had like no room, so I expanded out. And now it's time to make this finally. Ta da! Already placed these properly, even. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so you got this, which acts as a as the crucible does on its own. Uh, it's just instead of all right. Sorry about that. Uh, instead of the crucible, you know, you throw the items in the crucible to try and get the aspects out, and creating a bunch of waste of uh, different aspects on from each item. Uh, this construct here will instead take out the uh, process of oh, man. Oh, jamming up here. Hold on. Ugh. Everything must go wrong. Uh, this will take out the process of having to throw items in. Instead, you use Essentia or your V from. Uh, yeah, I think it's Essentia. Because, yeah, V is uh, what you use on the wand. Uh, you use the essentia from the jars that you break down in the alchemical furnace instead to make your items. Uh, so at that point you just take the item you want, throw it in here, and it'll give you the uh, options of what it can become. I actually don't know if there's anything for that. Uh, but yeah, that's how this thing's gonna work. Uh, added a infinite water tank over here, just pretty much use an aqueous accumulator down there to make that work uh... let me go and sleep the night off quick and i will show you guys the pretty door i installed and also maybe a little bit of what fuse is doing although for the real part of his stuff you'll need to go check out his channel uh... because obviously you know i'm not going to know everything he's doing But as you remember there was a door here yeah, sorry. Uh, yeah, as you remember, there's a door here, and we have this little pressure plate. Enemies still can't get in, but we can get through. Hey, buddies. Come on in. What's wrong? You, you look like you're stuck. Okay, they're gonna make it a pain. Uh,. But, yeah, it's uh, just how the little door works. I've gone and installed one down here because uh, Fuse mentioned to me yesterday that he was uh, getting hit by arrows and stuff. Uh, which I had noticed that happened now and then too. So I just installed one in here. Nice little block up. Nobody can uh, get at you now. And it really looks nice too. These doors are great. It took me a minute to figure out how to do it. But once I got it, it definitely worked. Uh, so, let's see. Fuse this little building over here. I think it's like a power drill station thingy. It, it's doing like all the item gathering for us. So, I, I don't know what he's calling it yet. He hasn't given me any thing. Uh... I wonder what those are. Are those like cryothium blocks or something? No, whatever. Uh, uh, nah, nah. So, he's got a couple of these running down here. Uh, just a couple of laser drills. Ooh, lots of focuses. Just so we can get uh, plenty of items pumping in. And, oh wow. Uh, oh, he finally hooked that up to the system, so just straight in. Cool. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's a really cool looking building from the outside. I uh, can't wait to see like how this thing is going to look once he's got all the walls done. Something like this looks really cool. Can't quite figure out what the uh, platform is for, though. 
it makes me think a little bit of like uh, the GameCube, how the GameCube had uh, you know just this giant square and then the back had like a little handle. It kind of reminds me of that, you know, like if you were to chop out this little center bit. <laughs> but obviously, you know, that's a little silly. So, uh, we'll just come back over here. So, uh, the Magic Research Center, or Magic Research Building, whatever you want to call it. Uh, work on this is going fine. Uh, need to keep getting more aspects for Thomcraft. I keep uh, running out. Ugh. It costs so much to do Thomcraft. Uh, you got to run around to get all this stuff. But... I don't know, it, it'll all be worth it once I get like all the uh, Thomcraft stuff going nice and good. It'll, I think it'll pretty much pay for itself on that topic. Um, there we go. Uh, need to fill this up with all the arcane... Uh, nullifiers uh, it's uneven wait this can go in one yeah it totally can what am I doing let's do a quick edit here it's not film edit I'm just saying edit as in like editing the building Ah, uh, that's probably why. Yeah, whatever. Uh... Hmm. Why don't I just place those all back in the same spot? Yeah, I'm not sure if I really care that much about it. Ah, was... uh, whatever. Aesthetically, this looks good already. So, no worries. Uh, Fuse is down there dancing around, I think. Ah, there he is. And yes, dancing around. Uh, let's see. Oh, I'm planning on making a bunch of the uh, traveling trunks again. I, I enjoy those things a lot. They're fun. Uh, but that'll come uh, a little bit later. God, how are there still enemies out here? Hey, seriously, don't go away, ever. We'll take your flesh. Kind of need that to make people. I'm going to use them to make new friends. Oh, uh... Fuse also gave me a refined firestone. I need to go do stuff with that. Bye bye, Fuse. Probably coming right back. You might guess. Yep. Uh, but, yeah, so just going to. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, move some of this stuff around so it's not all clogged in one small spot like that. Uh, eventually, I'm going to have like a full major setup here just so I can uh, do like different size uh, items and such yeah uh, let's see no not right there I want you about like here and yeah, here I think will work. I move this torch over there. All right, so first one goes on front. And yeah, I give enough room I can go this way. Except for this one. There you go. Those connect up, and then I can have the uh, tubes come out on this side, this side, 
And tubes on this one can come out on this side. Usually want to be able to at least uh, rotate these things a little bit. Uh, yeah, it's usually just like a good idea. There, you stupid. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm eventually going to uh, make this stuff so it all has its own little uh, controlled area to work in. Uh, where each item I put in will have like a full like each type uh, like if you look at this it only has one aspect I will have uh, one that breaks down just one aspect uh, then go to one that has like there are four that'll have a four aspect tower three aspects you know just one for each uh, thing two aspects would be in like there uh, but yeah eventually that's going to uh, be the way I'll have this and gonna have a lot of fun on that uh, but until that point uh, I'm just gonna go with basic uh, adjustable stock here because uh, well, we've been kinda low on iron maybe we're back up again no clue iron oh there we go yeah we are good okay I will get myself a couple more of those uh, yeah, I already had some of these ready. I'm gonna make the one. Put one there. All right. Uh, why don't I just carry the whole jar set? Ugh. All right. So take some of these, and where's my gold? Oh, right, right. I almost forgot about these. Um, second, gold. Uh, oh, wow. There we go. Second. Don't really need those at the moment. Well, thank you, actually. Yeah, I have some here. Um, put that in there now. Alright. So we need to make a few more of these V filters and that sounded really weird I don't know why um let's take a look at you quick and I'm having a lag attack ugh god my computer's been acting weird so this is a crucible surrounded by arcade stones and a furnace. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. These. Got that. Put you guys away. Just want to make sure I have enough of each uh, item to do some of the stuff I well need to do. And that'll be another little bit of the V. Uh, for oh wow, we got thirteen of these. Right. Now we got twelve of them. So, the reason I needed to get a whole another one of these uh, is for a very special one. Let's see. This I will put here. Uh, grab this and these. No, not you. Yeah. There we go. This is an alchemical centrifuge. What this does is when uh, your V. Or your uh, essential comes out of the alchemical furnace, it pumps up into this, which I should probably go ahead and actually make another one of those first. Um, hmm. uh, because it's good to have like a filter for uh, base V. 
uh, beforehand, but what it does when it goes into the alchemical centrifuge is it will separate out into uh, one of its base or one of its components that make up the uh, essential you're making. So it's a good way if you've got like a ton of 1V and you need to get a bunch of one that it's made of, you can do that to just pretty much pump out a whole bunch of uh, the type that you need. Okay, so it's just a gold uh, bucket. Alright, so you, 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 and then layer of iron. And not enough water, thank you. Uh, I'm not going outside, it's night time. Sleep in this bed. <sighs> we've been having an unusual shortage on uh, Ender Mineral since we've started this. Uh, I don't know why, it's just been so few of them. Back up to full. Back up to full. Alright. Pump these up quick. Go grab some Ordo. Yep. Uh, and apparently one uh, Terra. Weird. Ah, there we go. Vroom! I don't know where all of your stuff is. So the next one, go this way, more Erdo. We got like a small area, but it actually has like everything we need to power up the wand. And darn, went off. Ah, it's that way. You gotta stop right clicking this. Is that last one. Was it really important to grab that last? Probably not, but it's still fun. <clears throat> so, off we go. There we go. Right, in here. And we'll just go and put you in. Grab this. So, the best way to do this is uh, have one of these set up, so that way you can uh, drain out any base V that you need. Uh, then above that, you want to stick, okay, wait, I thought that worked last time, maybe it does, maybe it just doesn't like show the connection. Oh, yeah, I could be wrong, who knows. Uh, but after that, you throw one of these. And there you have it. Yeah. This is essentially this is the entirety of this thing. So you just set up for it to uh, knock out any and all essential into the appropriate jars. Then just because of how this works, you know, you have it separate out what you want, where you want it. And it should be good. <clears throat> so, just do like a base jar setup here. Uh, so, looks like now we should be good to start a lot of our uh, process for Thomcraft. Uh, building up all of the supplies we're going to need for a lot of the automational stuff, uh, aka mostly the golems. And then uh, possibly once I get to the end of my Thumbonomicon studies, uh, we'll be able to get into Thumbic Tinkering's uh, endgame Kami stuff again, which uh, I hate that I got to redo that entirety. I worked really hard for that on the last server. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. So we'll get it. Boop. Ah. There we go. 
Uh, ah, yeah, one more thing that's just really fun to do. Uh, <coughs> hopper. Get to the hopper! Yeah! I should not do Arnold Schwarzenegger impressions. There we go. Uh, you don't need these. They just make it uh, easy for any time where you've got one of those uh, items that don't stack up. Say, like, you, you're going to shred up a bunch of Thaumonomicons. You wouldn't be able to throw those in, you know, all at once. So you just be like, okay, uh, boom. Thank God I did not put fuel in there. Uh, but yeah. So that's how that works. Uh, yeah. You can set them up on any of these uh, little stations. I'm just putting it on these ones for now. Uh, this one is going to be a bit more controlled. And another thing that's really fun when you uh, do this as well, you can just break off the furnace and you can just place a jar underneath uh, this and it'll suck it all out too. Uh, so yeah, either of those work. <coughs> uh, so, uh, I've given you guys a little bit of a tutorial on how some of this stuff works and a little bit of how my setup is. Uh, so, it's been a little bit and I'm going to go ahead and just let you guys go. I've been your host, Solid Mercury, and thank you guys for watching. Uh, don't forget to check out Fuse MC's channel if you want to see his perspective on what he's doing over in that building over there. The one I'm facing on the map, apparently. Because, uh, no, well, he's really good with the mechanical side of things, so I like to see what he can do with it. Especially compared to me, I kind of suck at that. Uh, yeah, so don't forget to leave a like if you like the video and subscribe if you haven't uh i will see you guys in the next video bye